Hey YouTube. So today we're reviewing Monster Energy Supercross 2, the official video game, uh, which is a sequel of the uh, first game. Uh, this is brought to us by the guys at Milestone, who I've read are huge fans of the genre, which is Supercross, and to be honest, it shows. Uh, the game is basically a Supercross simulation, and if you approach it uh, thinking this is a quick and fast arcade motocross racer type of game, then you're wrong, right? Uh, I have played a couple of motocross racing games over the years, but I was never a dedicated fan of the genre, so I used to dabble in and out. I never played the first uh, game in the series, but I'm uh, from what I've seen, um, there are huge differences between both. It's much of the same thing, but better. So the physics have improved, graphics have improved. Graphics are on the Unreal Engine and uh, they look beautiful on the Switch, right? So that's, that's kudos there for the game. The physics are really, really good. Even on the easiest settings, uh, if you think you could be careless and haphazard like, <laughs> like what just happened here, you, the game will punish you for it. You have to put in the patience, the time, and discipline to understand how the sport works. And once you do so, you will be rewarded. But like I said, this is a simulation. And as such, it has, uh, you know, the usual modes. You have your uh, time trials, etc. What I liked is the career mode where you can take your own rider and you know take him through the paces or you can choose one of the existing riders and just go with that the other thing that i liked about the game is it also has a sandbox type of feature where you can create your own tracks and then you know just enjoy things uh, as you want you can upload it online and race against other people one of the things that i did not like however was the load times now even though i have this on the switch the load times were a bit um, long compared to other games I experienced on the Switch. Uh, the reason I picked this up on the Switch is uh, the moment I saw it was available, uh, I wanted to have an, a racer type game or a racing type game on the Switch, which I feel the Switch lacks right now. So, I mean, besides the uh, Mario Kart. Uh, so. I picked this up, uh, it is a nice game, it is recommended if you're a fan of the genre, but you have to understand, like I said, it's a simulation, it's not an arcade type of game, and uh, you'll have to take that with the pros and cons that come with it. So would I recommend it? Definitely if you're a Supercross fan, uh, if you're a motorcycle racing fan, yes, if you're a casual racing fan, also yes, but understand the caveats that come with it. Other than that, uh, till I see you next time, guys.